Roses, it's your girl Studios, and today we're going to be doing a Safari LTD model horse unboxing. Before we get started, just make sure that you guys check out my website. Some people were like, I didn't know you sell custom horses. I was like, guys, like at the end of every video, I explain this. So if you didn't know, I have a website, sugarrosestudios.com, and I sell tack riders, custom horses, and you can design your own and order from me for like 40 more days because I'm going to college. So I ordered this straight from Safari's website and they were having like a Father's Day sale. I don't really know why but hey like a coupon is a coupon i'm not gonna refuse so i think it was like 21 percent off like or some random number for like 2021 i don't know so let's open this Voila. okay wow there's a lot here all right so the first thing that i see is something that i got because i ordered over 50 dollars worth of stuff um, I don't know how I feel about this, but, um, let's open it. I saw that they, like, were gonna give it to me as a free gift, and I was like, um, okay. I don't even know, it's like a bat horse, I think. It looks like a bat horse. I like the tail, though, I think that's pretty snazzy. Um, not a fan of the, like, teeth, that's kind of freaky. Um, the bat wings are kind of cool, I guess. Um, so what I'm thinking right now is just making this into an angry horse. So chop off the wings that are really, really scary looking, um, and trim down the, the teeth. I guess they're not, they're not like vampire teeth, so maybe I'll keep them, but kind of spooky, spooky looking horse. The Shire Stallion. And... Um, I think I'm going to turn this one into a mare because it looks a lot like a horse that I ride at, um, the stable that I ride at. So, her name is Alice. It actually is, like, the same colors as her. Um, so maybe I'll do that on a different model, but this one is very similar to how she looks. The Arabian mare. I have no idea what color I'm going to do her in, but I think this model is really, really pretty. I love all the facial details and like all the musculature is really nicely done. This is the Mustang Mare. They also had this mare in a Palomino color, but for some reason, so this color, which I don't really know what color this is supposed to be. It doesn't really look like any, I mean, it could be like a buckskin, but it doesn't really look buckskin to me. Anyways, this um, model was $5, but then in the Palomino color on the exact same mold, it was $10, so I was like, wait, what? Um, but I think it's really, really pretty. I love the windblown -like look. Um, the face is super detailed. Um, so I don't know what color I'll do it. I'll do her, but I really like that model. <laughs> That's because it's the same one, I think. So this is the Morgan Mare and I love this model so much. I did a repaint on this for um, a customer and I love how it turned out. So I had to get to some more because this model is absolutely stunning, honestly. And she looks so good in repaints. So I don't know what colors I'm gonna do on her again, but I think she would look good in really any color really. And she's the Morgan Mare. Um, I was like, what the heck? Why is this one so much more expensive than the other ones? Um, but I think he's actually really cute. Um, I was thinking of getting this one to turn it into a fjord, but I'm not sure now because, like, the paint job isn't actually that bad and he is kind of cute, so. Yeah, look terrible. I don't know why they would use that picture because in the picture, the thoroughbred has, like, it looks like it has such a short neck. Um, so if you guys didn't know, I live really close to a really big racetrack, so my plan is to paint, um, I have like seven of them, is to paint them as famous thoroughbreds and make some like simple racing tack, and then I'm gonna try and go to the track and sell some of them. So I don't know why they would do that, but the neck is not even that short for the horse, I don't think. I mean, personally, it looks normal to me, um, but in that photo, it looks like the neck is so short, like they have it in an angle where it's like this. So the neck looks like it's like super short. I'll show you guys the picture, but it's terrible. So I have a bunch of this one and I'm really excited honestly to do like the different racing ones. There's one I definitely want to do that I've seen 
um with like really cool roaning and i mean there's a lot of really cool famous thoroughbreds so that will definitely be fun this was oh my gosh i was so excited about this one because i think he's adorable so this is the morgan stallion and he is so cute I think he his stance and like his face is just so adorable. Honestly, like I think it's so cute. Um and they honestly they go to they go together really well, the Morgan Mare and Stallion. So I don't know if there was a foal. I don't think they have a lot of foals. Um, but that's okay because I don't really like collecting foals that much. Um, but I actually really like this one. Like, I thought I was gonna get all these to repaint. And, like, since I have three of these now, I'm gonna repaint them. But this one, I was like, mm, well, if the paint job's bad, I'll repaint them. But his paint job isn't even that bad. I might redo the hooves because they're kind of, like, very boring. But I don't think there's a lot of model horse companies that really do, like, very detailed hooves. But sometimes on the older Schleich models, the hooves are really nice. But for the most part... Most companies don't really try and focus that much on the hooves, I guess, because little kids don't really look at the hooves. Please excuse the paint on my hands. So this is the Przewalski Stallion. I think he's really cute. This is the creepy vampire horse. So it looks like these teeth aren't really vampire-y, so I'll just have to, you know, chop off those wings. But overall, I think this could be a really cool horse. I'm not really sure what color I'm going to do him in yet, but he's kind of, kind of creepy. Those eyes have so much detail in them though. I'm surprised. Most horses just have like black eyes. This is the Morgan Stallion. I think he's absolutely precious. He looks like one of the horses that I ride. Um, I don't really know exactly which one I think, but I think he's really adorable. So this is the Shire Stallion. I think all these horses' poses are really nice, and the amount of detail in the sculpting is amazing. This is the Mustang Mare. I really like this model, and I can't wait to repaint her. I'm not a huge fan of this color, but um, the Palomino one did look really nice. This is the Arabian Mare. I think that she's really, really pretty. I love the color, and I actually really like the paint job on her. I might not have to redo her. And it kind of looks like her neck is outstretched oh, like a little too long on this side, but it's really actually like a normal pose. Like in my opinion, I think it looks really nice. This is the Morgan Mare. She's actually one of my favorite Safari LTD models. One of the models that they have, but they didn't have in stock when I purchased these was the um, Rocky Mountain horse, the Rocky Mountain Stallion, which I recently did a repaint on. And I love that model so, so much. I hope it gets back in stock soon. Um, although it's said on their website that they were out of stock and I hope they are just going to be able to sell them again. Another uh, Safari LTD horse that I really, really love is the Quarter Horse Gelding. And I've done a few repaints on him. And then lastly, this is the Thoroughbred. I, uh, I really don't think that the neck is too short. I think it's a really good size. And I think this is a really accurate representation of what a Thoroughbred um, running on the racetrack would look like. He's trying to finish the race, guys. I will win. Alright Roses, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed, please be the sweet generous person you are and give this video a huge thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already as well. And check out my website. I have tack riders, custom horses, and tons more for sale. And of course, if you want a commission, only 50 days left to do that before I go off to college. And don't forget to stay sweet. Mwah.